Chapter 8 Collaborating with Structural Engineers In this chapter, we will demonstrate how architectural teams can collaborate smoothly with structural engineers. We will show you how to connect ARCHICAD with other applications such as AutoCAD, Revit Structure, or Tecla using DXF, DWG, or IFC file formats. ARCHICAD allows several possibilities for exporting and importing to make everyday data exchange with co-designers much easier. Step 1. DWG Export In this training step, we will demonstrate how to export DWG files from ARCHICAD. In our scenario, we will export DWG sets of the floor plans, each with different save options. These will be the base of structural drawings as external references. We will also introduce the Smart Merge feature, which enables designers to merge DXF and DWG files that were originally exported from ARCHICAD, then changed by structural engineers back into an ARCHICAD file. This feature allows us to work on the same project in ARCHICAD and AutoCAD at the same time. In the col8.pln project file, switch to the Publisher Sets tab in the Navigator palette then click the Publisher Set Chooser and Manager button located at the top of the Navigator. Select the 02 Structural Consultant set from the pop-up list. There are two preset folders in the selected Publisher set. In Chapter 10, we will demonstrate how to manage the Navigator and how to create and modify views, layouts, or Publisher sets. Select and expand the 0201 Structural Stories folder. You can see a list of files corresponding to each story of the project. They have been saved here from views having the same view options and layer combination. With the folder selected, go to the Format panel and select the DWG file format from the Format drop-down list. Notice that the file icons of the stories change to DWG format. Click the Options button below the File Format field. This opens the DXF DWG Translation Setup dialog. Choose the 01 for further editing in the Available Translators list. We will use this set for DWG DXF file exchange with the Structural Engineer. This set will also be the translator used for Smart Merge. Let's quickly go through some of the important settings of the dialog. Expand the settings in Selected Translator panel. Under Drawing Unit, you can see that the default drawing unit of the selected translator is 1 mm. You can find other imperial and metric units here in the drop-down list. Under Save Options, the file format is set to AutoCAD 2004, 2005, 2006. You can choose older or newer versions here. It's possible to use a template file, which also helps in defining how elements should be converted into DWG or DXF. We will present this in Chapter 9. Notice that the Linked XREF Drawings option is set in the Place Drawings Into field. This means that if we save layouts, drawings placed on them will be saved as separate DWG DXF files and will be linked as XREFs to the saved file in AutoCAD. Set the Prepare File for Smart Merge option in the Saving Floor Plan field. This function enables modifications made to the ARCHICAD elements in AutoCAD to be merged back into ARCHICAD in an intelligent way. We will show more settings related to this later in this chapter, as well as in Chapter 9. If we want to change the settings, we can override an existing translator, create a new one, or duplicate an existing one and save it as a new translator of our own. Click the Save Settings and Close button to save the changes. Back in the Navigator, 
Select and expand the 0202 Architectural DD Stories folder. In this folder we have prepared the layouts of all stories from the design development phase. ARCHICAD design project files support both model space and paper space information during the export and import of DXF and DWG files. Since model views correspond to model space, while layouts correspond to paper space in AutoCAD. Choose the DWG format in the Format panel for this folder as well, and click the Options button. Select the 03 for As Is output in the DXF DWG Translation Setup dialog, and click the Duplicate button. The 034 as is output underscore copy translator is created and selected in the list. Click the rename button. Enter 05 architectural DD for name. MS project for project. and Structural Engineer for Partner in the Rename Translator dialog, and click the Rename button. Expand the Info panel, and type the following text for description. Use this translator to save the architectural design development set for the structural consultant. Complex ARCHICAD elements will be exploded, all background and cover solid fills will be ignored. Switch to the Settings in Selected Translator panel. Select Save Options on the left, and set the Paper Space with Cropped Views Content option in the Save Layout Into field. Also, set the Stamp Only option in the Save Zones As field. Go to the Attributes, Layers, Methods settings page. Notice that ARCHICAD Layers is selected from the Create Layers According To field. This option creates the layers in the resulting DWG DXF file according to the layer names in the ARCHICAD file. You can see other options in the drop down list such as pen numbers, element types, and so on. Set the Save Elements On field to Visible Layers Only. This means that elements placed on layers that are hidden when the DWG DXF file is saved will not be saved in the resulting file. The other option you can use here is All Layers. In that case, elements on all ARCHICAD layers will be saved. Let's define custom layers for windows and doors. Openings in ARCHICAD do not have their own layer. They belong to the walls. So if you don't define a custom layer for them, they will be created on the layer of their enclosing walls. Enter ARCHICAD Windows for Windows and ARCHICAD Doors for Doors under the DXF DWG Layer column of the Create Custom Layer 4 field. Open the Fills, Methods Settings page, and uncheck all the checkboxes. Then make sure that the Export All Fills As Is option is selected in the drop-down list. You can keep all other settings for now. Click the Save Settings and Close button to leave the dialog. Check the Merge to One DWG File checkbox at the bottom of the Format panel in the Navigator. Notice that the icon of the folder has changed. This feature combines the layouts within the selected folder and exports all sheets into a single DWG DXF file. With this, you can minimize the number of files and simplify the data exchange with consultants. Click the Publisher Set Chooser and Manager button on top of the Navigator and click Publisher Sets. 
select the 02 Structural Consultant set and click the Publishing Properties button. This brings up the Publisher Set Properties dialog. Click the Browse button to define a path for the destination folder on your hard drive. Then, check the Create Real Folder Structure radio button and click OK to leave this dialog. Click the Publish button at the bottom of the navigator to save the files. It takes a bit of time to export the files. You will see the progress in the appearing publishing dialog. When the process has been completed, close the dialog. Open the folder in which you saved the files on your hard drive. Here you will find the 0201 Structural Stories folder with the six floor plan DWG files, and also a separate DWG file called 0202 ARC DD Stories. This contains the drawings of all the stories in one file. The three image files next to it are used on the paper space of the combined DWG file. Open the 0201 Structural Stories folder and open the 04 Second Floor .dwg file. Use AutoCAD or a free DWG viewer for this purpose. If you don't have either of these, just follow the next steps in the movie. Go back to the ARCHICAD project. Double-click the 02 Structural Consultant Publisher Set to open it. Activate the original 04 Second Floor View below the 0201 Structural Stories Publisher folder. Let's compare the ARCHICAD and AutoCAD content. As you can see, they are identical. Now, open the 0202 arcddstories.dwg in AutoCAD. All the floor plan views have been transferred to the model space and placed next to each other. And in addition, all the layouts have been created on the paper space tabs.